years of experience, so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Don't put them on yet, just have them in your hand because we're about to return to start. Uh, just take the, the 3D show yada ji. वो स्टार्ट होने लगा। देखते हैं अपन शायद जी अंदर अपने वीडियो बन दिए या नहीं बन दिए। ये अपने गॉड जिले दा अपने शो आई। सारा 3D दे बच्चे। ये लगा दे दस्यो जी कमेंट करके जरूर Universal Picture Cars आज ये ना movie है देवेच्चे अपने car आएंगे ये होन अतः नुसार ये दिखा लांगे That gyros here we saw for Jurassic World never had glass on it. If it did, you'd see the reflection of the crew and the director in the glass. So that was put in in post production digitally using CGI or computer generated imagery. For now, it's time to explore some vehicles and set pieces from one of Universal's most beloved franchises. Welcome. 
to Jurassic Park. And I was told we have a treat up ahead, some dinosaurs in these cages to show you. Weird, okay, the cages appear to be empty. I'm sure they just got moved. We're just gonna keep on moving, there's still a lot to see. Here on the left is a mobile lab that appeared in the lost world Jurassic Park. It dangled precariously off of a cliff with Julianne Moore inside. But it wasn't a cliff at all. It was a parking structure here at the studio dressed to look like a Oh no. There they are. I knew they couldn't have gotten too far. Sorry folks, don't worry, their venom's just a little poisonous. We really have a dinosaur problem here, we gotta get that under control. Now let's take a look at that mobile lab as it appears. I think, I think they used to whip people, but not no more. Yeah, because I think so. I want to say they did like a little flat. Now we are leaving the Jurassic era behind and heading into old Mexico. We are going to travel all over time and space today without leaving the old studio. Mexico. Here in old Mexico, old Mexico, Mexico we film the Black, Three Amigos, the Chevy Chase Martin Short and Steve Martin filmed here, as well as the Dagawa's music video for Judas. And scenes for Westworld. While well, we're spending some time here in El Mexico, we're going to do a little weather demonstration. The film calls for inclement weather, filmmakers need to create it and control it. And it would look something like this. We are going to have a strobe light effect, lightning, and a hard sound effect for thunder. An overhead sprinkle. I don't think you want to see the water up slightly so we can fall to the ground naturally. This rain would. And the cameras that shoot just below oh. the sprinkler head. There's also light shining oh, yeah, on the water yeah. as it falls. To make it easier to capture on camera, it's actually surprisingly hard to see rain on film. They give it a little help. And this is how on an otherwise perfectly sunny day, filmmakers might create and control a storm. Oh wow. Storm again, storm. Flood again, you flood. Sorry, you flood again, flood. Oh my god. Flood again, wow. That flash of flood you just experienced is comprised of thousands of gallons of water released from the top of the hill. Then they're sent back up to the top for the next flash of flood. And that very sad effect for use for film big fat liars starring Amanda Bynes and Paul G. Mann drinking in Six Points, Texas. This area was used for the film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, directed by Quentin Tarantino, starring Lara Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't know if you're going to get a little bit of 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 a which is very in Texas, the set is so Universal is featured in a super unique Texas way. Now this area is called Six Point Texas and it's named for the six converging streets. This area was comprised of in Universal Fires. Okay, I've got one more. Back then they would film one film on each of those six streets at the same time. And they were able to do that because they were all silent. They didn't have to worry about quiet zones like we do today. They could film right up next to each other and make as much noise as they needed to. 
And that's how in Universal's first year they made over 100 westerns. Wow. As we make our way out of Six Points, Texas, you will see on your left across this body of water, pages 25 and 26, you'll see one of them has the voice colors painted on it on the far left end there. That is where The Voice now films. Kelly Clarkson is here for The Voice, as well as for the Kelly Clarkson show, which films here at the studio as well. Also in those sound stages, Jordan Peele's Us films. Now, we have to do a monster movie. The creature from the Black Lagoon filmed here. That's not it. Hang on. Here we go. That's A lot of monsters were born here at Universal. The creature from the Black Lagoon, the Mummy, the Invisible Man, Frankenstein, Dracula, and many of them filmed here in the Little York sets that we are approaching. Universal's first Best Picture Award winner filmed here as well, called All Quiet on the Western Front. For that film, this area was Germany. You may better recognize it as something it was much more recently. The Good Place from The Good Place, starring Kristen Bell and Ted Danson. You, Eleanor Shostra, are dead. Cool. This location, the afterlife, come up. I have never ever seen this. You're in the good place. I'm not supposed to be here. Look at. I can't risk going to the bad place. Okay, well, maybe it's not all that bad. I'm going to help you. What is the bad place? I see. Well, it doesn't sound awesome. This area was also Genovia for Princess Diaries 2, or Royal Engagement. Then it was used for the remake of Cinderella in the 90s to start looking Houston and me. Those old school monsters spent a lot of time here as well as some more modern monsters like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. Those series were the film scenes here as well. Let's take a look at those classic monsters. Let's take a look at those classic monsters. Let's take a look at those classic monsters.